You go into this wanting to have literally nothing at the end. If I'm falling across that finish line, I know I've done something right. And, and far too often I find myself having a little bit too much left in the tank. And um, I think that's something I want to make sure I don't regret. Literally nothing at the end. If I'm falling across that finish line, I know I've done something right. This is Cooper Tier, a senior at the University of Oregon, just a few hours before he ran his final cross-country race for the Ducks. Over the previous few seasons, we've seen this young, upcoming talent blossom into one of the most competitive distance runners in the entire nation. But perhaps no performance will be more memorable than this 2021 cross-country championship. Fighting here is Cooper Tier. Cooper Tier wow. told us, I will leave everything, whether I die at, and, and hit the wall at 8K or 9K. He's Folks, that is a national oh, champion oh, at 5K. Miler. The, in, the collegiate indoor mile record holder. And he just shook those, the medics off. Just, he said, I'm going to get there. Let him get there. Oh, again, so painful to watch. As we said, such an accomplished runner. You saw where he had been. For the majority of this race, he was hanging tough with the lead pack. But just like the man said before he even started, he had nothing left by the time he reached the finish line. Watching Coop struggle over these final moments was difficult. His energy was zapped, his balance was completely off, and his legs were simply unresponsive. Nobody wanted this to be Cooper's final cross-country performance as an Oregon Duck. I mean, the man is literally one of the most accomplished distance running athletes in the school's history. However, the grit that he just showed over this final finishing stretch might be the most valiant effort I've ever witnessed in running. With around 50 meters to go, the race clock showed 31 minutes and 44 seconds, and by the time he managed to cross the line, literally willing his body across the finish line, the clock read 33 minutes flat. For 1 minute and 16 seconds, Tyr pushed his body into an area that very few of us will ever experience. Under no circumstance was this man not going to finish this race, and for that, I simply have to give my respect to this man. It's one thing to say that you're going to run until you have nothing left. In fact, I think that all of us have said this at least once in our lives. But to actually do it and still manage to finish is simply incredible. Congratulations, Coop, and I can't wait to see what you have in store for us in the future.